Hello and welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Kilian from AWS and I'm joined by Robert, CTO from Gravit. So Robert, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So um, what does Gravit actually do? So Gravit is a provider of DWG-based uh, CAD software. Um, our suite of products includes both mobile, desktop, but also cloud solutions. And our scooters are browser-based uh, uh, CAD application that allows you to create, edit, and view um, your designs from a browser. So great. So this is mainly focusing on business users, I yeah. yeah, sure. So the typical users are either manufacturing or in construction. Um, yes, and they will use it. It's sometimes they'll just use it for a short amount, or sometimes some people will use it for the full day. Okay. So what are, what are the challenges of um, CAD software in the cloud? So when a user um, tries to work with a design or opens it up, um, we'll fetch it from uh, typically from a cloud um, storage provider and load into memory um, and then send only to the client what's necessary for um, the visualization and the interaction with that design. And so we have two, real, two big needs. One is we need you know, high memory servers, but we also need to be um, really low latency, so we need to have a high interactivity uh, with the user. So this means you have a lot of data running on the, on the instance per session? Correct. So yeah. every, every user, every session is connected to a specific host. So we need to make sure that we always route all the requests okay. there. Um, and then nice. um, as, we, um, as more sessions get created, we'll scale out um, okay. our, our service. Oh, let's, let's look at the architecture then. Uh, can you give us an overview? Sure. So we use Route 53 as sort of our entry point. Uh, we then go to um, a set of load balancers um, in an auto scaling group across multiple uh, availability zones. And those will then talk to another auto scaling group of CAD hosts. Um, and these CAD hosts, as I already mentioned, um, are shared across it with the users. And as we have, as the demand sort of uh, grows during the day, uh, we'll scale out this auto scaling group based on a memory, custom memory based trigger. So actually, you can adapt your consumption perfectly to your needs. Correct. And as, as we mentioned, those are business users. So we see a lot of usage during the sort of nine to five day and it tapers off uh, during the night and on the weekend in each region. OK, perfect. Um, what about uh, availability? Um, we have those long running sessions. This poses some problems, I would say. Um, can you walk us through an update here? Yeah, sure. So updating is a huge pain point in our industry. So traditionally, CAD software, if you had to put on a desktop, to upgrade it was a very IT-heavy process, uh, and it would take a long time for the users to get the update. And we think with, uh, with cloud, we can re-envision that. And so we actually are, are deploying updates nearly every two to three weeks. And we're doing this with zero downtime without disrupting any of the users. So let me show you how, how we do yeah, that. please. So let's imagine we have a version one pro um, uh, release deployed right now. So all the users are currently being served by this, the auto scaling group here. Now we want to deploy version two. We'll use CloudFormation to update the, um, the launch configuration and the auto scaling group will automatically launch new instances. Um, we'll register those instances at the load balancer and the load balancer will now service new traffic over here. Um, so now the question is what do we do with existing users? We don't want to cut them off from the software because that would be disruptive. We want to keep the servers running as long as we have users on them. So That's you need a draining feature here? Correct. And, and can't you use a draining feature of our load balancers, ELB? Yeah, so we investigated the, the load balancing options available on AWS, ELB, and ALB. Uh, but in the end, we decided to go with, a, with our own HA proxy um, situation. Two reasons. Um, one, we needed to run uh, long running sessions. So it's different than a web application, um, a traditional website. Um, but we also needed to be able to drain uh, sessions, not just connections. So we need to be able to still send new requests um, to, that, uh, to the server for that specific user. Um, although we do want to shift, of course, all the new traffic or the new sessions to the new servers. Okay, so how do you orchestrate this uh, update then? Yeah, so now we're in a state where um, the autoscaling group is, call, um, is, is triggering a notification saying, hey, I want to terminate an instance. So we'll subscribe to that using our uh, an SNS topic. And inside the SNS and topic, we will uh, launch our Lambda script. And the Lambda script is very simple. It will just uh, call SSM, which in turn runs a termination script on the host. The termination script really checks for one simple condition. Is there still a session alive? If there's no session alive, Simple, we notify the scaling group is safe to terminate. If there are active sessions, we will tell the auto scaling group to, to um, wait. We'll also notify HA proxy 
to um, put the server in a weight of zero, meaning that we will get no, we are no longer considered in the, um, for new sessions, but it still knows we are live, we're happy, so we can still get requests for the old sessions. Perfect, and then you're through the update and everything is on the new version. Yes. So tricky problem, but really elegant solution. So what about your global customers? I hear you have uh, customers worldwide using this solution. Yes, so we have this solution deployed now currently in six uh, AWS regions worldwide, um, mostly to solve the latency issue. We really, really want to be close to the customer, and as demand grows in specific regions, we want to be able to deploy into that region. And so we are a heavy user of cloud yeah. formation, um, allowing us to replicate the same infrastructure, the same design in all places, allowing us to seamlessly update um, the versions across the different regions. So we will use CloudFormation to deploy into a region and then uh, use um, Route 53 geo-based routing to, um, to route the user to the correct region that's closest to him. Very nice. Thank you very much for sharing, Robert. And thank you for watching This Is My Architecture.